Okay, another application of recurrence relations. Uh, now, I've written here that it's non-arithmetic. Um, you don't really know what an arithmetic sequence is yet, but we are going to dive into it in a big way. This is actually a geometric sequence, and we are also going to dive into that um, in term four. Um, so don't panic too much if by the words non-arithmetic. Just be aware that this is a sort of a slightly different question. Okay, so we're doing a, the height of a sand dune and it's increasing by 10% each year and it is currently four metres high. So I'm just going to make a little note here and that note is that uh, term one is equal to four. Okay, so it begins its life at a height of four metres. Set up the recurrence relation that describes the height of the sand dune. Okay, so um, part A, Recurrence relations, we want to know what Tn is equal to. And Tn is going to be equal to the previous term. And then we need to do something to the previous term to make it the next term. So if the current term is 4, we know that term 2, we know that term 2 is going to be equal to 4 times, uh, it's increasing by 10%. And the mistake a lot of people are going to make is multiplying by 0 0.1 uh, to get the amount that it increases by. But if we do 4 times 0 0.1, we only get 0 0.4, uh, which is the amount that it increases by. But I want to know what its new height is. So instead of multiplying it by 0 0.1, multiply it by 1.1. That takes, you say, essentially we're multiplying it by 110%. The original 100%, which is 4 metres, and then the additional 10%. Okay, so if we want to know what Tn is, we can take Tn minus 1 and then multiply it by 1.1. And that'll work uh, for the next term as well. So if I've got term 3, that's going to be equal to 4 times 1.1 because that's what term 2 is. So that's term 2. And then I'm going to multiply that by 1.1. And if I wanted to know what term 4 was, I'd say that's 4 times 1.1 times 1.1 times 1.1 um, because this was term 3 and then I multiply it by another 1.1 to get term 4. Okay, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I can just rewrite that just a little bit neatly. I can say that t to the n equals 1.1 times uh, t n minus 1. All right. Done. Next, write down an expression for Tn in terms of n. Okay, so instead of doing it in terms of Tn minus 1, we're going to do it in terms of n. And the secret is in what I've already started doing right here. Um, now, term 1 is equal to 4. Term 2 is equal to 4 times 1.1. Term 3 is equal to 4 times 1.1 times 1.1. Now, if you notice where I put the brackets, I've put a bracket here and here. So I'll just get rid of them and I'll say that it's equal to 4 times 1.1 times 1.1. Now, because everything's being multiplied, we don't need brackets, but I could put 1.1 and 1.1 together. And 1.1 times 1.1 is the same as 1.1 squared. And similarly, I had brackets here. I can get rid of them. That's a bit difficult. Uh, times. So instead of saying 4 times 1.1 times 1.1 times 1.1, I can get rid of all of those 1.1s because 1 1.1 times 1.1 times 1.1 is to the power of 3. Okay, so you can see a pattern starting to form there, and we can say that t to the n, or tn, nth term, is equal to. 4 times always 1.1 and then look at the pattern here. 1.1 uh, to the power of 1 is term 2, 1.1 to the power of 2 is term 3, 1.1 to the power of 3 is term 4, so I'm raising it to the nth term minus 1. 4 times 1.1 to the n minus 1. And finally part C Find the height of the sand dune seven years from now. Remember, if something is seven years from now and now is term one, then seven years from now is term eight. Okay, so 
Putting it directly into this formula, we can say that term eight equals four times 1.1 to the power of eight minus one, or four times 1.1 to the power of seven. Calculator, and we should be able to get an answer. An answer of 7.79 meters. Okay, so uh, that's it. There's an application of recurrence relations. There's that neato trick there with the to the power of happens quite a bit with these what I call geometric sequences, which you will learn a lot more about.